road game. They made it very rough on Paul Burmeister all day. Shelly Hammonds, the senior cornerback, picks off the Burmeister pass. Penn State would drive for a field goal and a three-zip lead. Second quarter, Burmeister. They couldn't block Penn State's defensive line all day. The pressure picked off Eric Clare. Burmeister was sacked four times in the first half, and then Brian O'Neill busted over from the one-yard line, and Penn State starting to pull away, and Iowa started a grab bag. 17-7, after another interception, Kijada Carter, 23 yards for the touchdown. He carried 16 times for 144 yards. Paterno gets win number 250, and Penn State goes to 3-0 on the season. Nebraska and UCLA, first quarter, subbing for Calvin Jones, Damon Benning. He would struggle. Four turnovers today for Nebraska. Second quarter, Bruins up three zip and driving. The true freshman running back, Skip Hicks, takes it in. Ten zip, UCLA. In the second half, Nebraska gets the running game going. On the play action fake, a little shovel pass here. Abdul Muhammad down to the six yard line. The next play, another freshman, Lawrence Phillips, on the pitch from Frazier, pounds it in. 10 7 Bruins at halftime. Third quarter, Nebraska beginning to wear UCLA down. From the 11. Number 15, Tommy Fraser, bootlegs, hits tight end Gerald Armstrong. The reason that play works is because you must stop Nebraska's one run first, leaves the bootlegs open for the touchdown pass. Bruins would hang tough, but Nebraska prevails. 14 13 to go to 3 0. Even from the Irish, would they play like champions? Well, they would have a lead briefly, but the Irish up 9 7. McDougal finds Ray Zeller's a four yard pass. 16-7 at halftime. Third quarter, it's 22-7. One of the key plays in the game, Jim Miller sacked. Brian Hamilton recovers, and then Mark Edwards, the Irish used a lot of people in the backfield. He busted in from one yard out. Michigan State, why don't you like to punch that guy? Michigan State <laughs> scored the first touchdown and the last touchdown. The Irish scored the 36 points in between. Kevin Pendergast booted three field goals. Arkansas and Alabama. Barry Lunny Jr. is going to get clobbered here, and this is like skeet shooting. It Off the back foot, throws up a duck. Antonio Langham makes the record-tying interception. The Alabama career record, and then the brilliant run back. Weaves his way all over the field, gets some great downfield blocking by his tied defensive teammates, takes it into the end zone the third time in his career. He's won an interception back for a touchdown. That is an Alabama record. Sherman Williams rushes for 148 yards and a touchdown. Jay Barker breaks the SEC record for consecutive wins as a quarterback starter. It is now 20. Langham, 16 interceptions. He was the reason, one of the big reasons Alabama won the national championship last year. Nobody better after they catch an interception running with the football. Ohio State and Pitt. This a sign of things to come on the opening kickoff. Butler by note takes the one offer. They hardly lay a glove on him. 89 yards for a touchdown. Ohio State scored 28 points in the first quarter. Absolutely overwhelming Pitt. Little fraternity salute right there. Pitt gives up 63 points for the second consecutive week. Ahead for Pittsburgh, Louisville, Notre Dame, and Syracuse. It just gets tougher and tougher. Joey Galloway got the two touchdown passes for 37 yards. Missouri and Texas A&M, another pounding here. Early in the first quarter, Corey Pulling fakes the handoff. Rodney Thomas and then throws it to Jamie McKeon. Five-yard touchdown. Later in the first quarter, Pulling hands off to Thomas. 26 yards for the touchdown, one of three touchdowns on the ground for Thomas. He rushed for 107 yards. Leland McElroy, equally tough in A&M, hands Missouri the second worst loss in Tiger history. The worst was 77 nothing to Oklahoma in 86. Aaron Glenn, 131 yards worth of punt returns. Terry Benetulius, a school record. 10 extra points in a single game. He was busy. There's the rushing combo. Greg Hill's going to be out for two more games with a suspension. They don't really miss him. McElroy, 136 yards. Thomas rushes for 107. Wild game in Colorado State as they take on BYU. Lavelle Edwards uh, dressed for Siberia here. On the opening kickoff, State coughs up the football. BYU recovers. They're going in here. Jamal Willis, two-yard run. One of his two touchdowns. Cougars up seven zip there. Fourth quarter at 24-16. Anthony Hill. To Mark Smith, they connect on fourth down, then they go for two, trailing by two. Watch as two Ram receivers collide, probably knock the ball away from each other. 24-22 at that point, BYU adds a field goal. They escape 27-22. Uh, John Walsh throws for 332. Did not throw a touchdown pass, though. Boston College and Northwestern earlier today on ESPN, a terrific ball game. Wildcats down seven, three and a half to play. Len Williams for the great Lee Gissendanner. They go for two. Gissendanner had a pair of touchdowns. 
We applaud Gary Barnett. They don't go for the tie. They take the lead right there as Dennis Lundy runs it in, 22-21. One last chance for Coughlin. David Gordon, whose father owns the Hartford Whalers. E, the slap shot, wide right. Northwestern, Gary Barnett said, we were possessed. We willed the win. Their first win over a top 25 team since 1991. Williams, 125 yards, and he threw for two touchdowns. Arizona and Illinois. Scott Weaver, a miserable day as the cactus curtain was in on him all day long. Safety Brandon Sanders levels him. That's Jim Hoffman running for a touchdown. Arizona up 14-0, both defensive touchdowns. Later in the second quarter, Weaver, again, he's seen enough of this defense. Jimmy Hopkins, the safety. Arizona scores 16 points with the defense. Negative 27 yards rushing for Illinois and seven touchdowns for the season. Arizona, negative 67 yards rushing allowed. Wisconsin and Iowa State, 28-7. The Badgers win it. Before this season, they expected about 53,000. Instead, it's the first sellout since 85, Wisconsin and Indiana next Saturday on ESPN. Indiana takes back the bourbon barrel by beating Kentucky. The defense, eight quarterback sacks. California jumping all over Ron Dickerson and Temple, 38-0. That game is still midway in the second quarter. And Louisville. Bad blood in this game. They really felt Arizona State was a cheap team when they were shut out by them last year. Some revenge for Howard's club, 4.43 to play. They have an 11-point lead. As Falk tries to get back on track for a certain trophy. Down 10 zip, Falk dives into the end zone, makes it 10-7. Air Force then trailing 14-10 when Brian Watkins picks off David Lowry's pass, takes it in, 17-14 force on offense. Desmond Cash in his first start rambling for the Falcons into the end zone. Skip ahead now to the fourth quarter now. Cash, 18 yards for the touchdown. Air Force would lead 31-14. San Diego State storms back, gets a late touchdown in Colorado Springs to win it 38-31. Marshall Falk ran for three touchdowns. Darnay Scott catching a 37-yard pass on fourth down with 34 seconds left for the victory. Yards and three touchdowns. But Duke would go up top for a lot of yards, and they also had some good special teams play. Tied at 21, the fake punt John Kruger to David Lohman, 14 yards in a first down. That would set up Tijon Redmond's go-ahead touchdown run. Then with 10 minutes to play, Brad Breedlove takes the punt, weaves through the cadets, and takes it to the end zone as Duke wins it 42-21 to snap that eight-game losing streak. Spence Fisher, brilliant for the Blue Devils, his second straight 300-yard game. He was 29 for 36. 357, three touchdowns, the best passer at Duke since Bobby Hurley left town. Georgia started out up 28 zip, then Tech got within eight in the fourth quarter, but between the hedges, Ray Goff gets his first victory of the season. East Carolina clobbering Central Florida, one double A team, 41 to 17. Nevada all over Texas Southern, 63 14. Dedrick Holmes win at Texas, but you don't win national championships with bad special teams. Syracuse gave up an 80-yard kick return in the first half that set up a score. And then Mike Adams, a 54-yard punt return for a score, 18-14. Tied at 21, less than three minutes left. Pat O'Neill, the place kicker, wide right. But a minute later, Syracuse intercepts the ball, drives down the field. A penalty gets him in position. And O'Neill misses again, this time from a little closer, wide right. And the orange end up with a tie in Austin despite outgaining Texas 429 to 201 yards. Marvin Graves not that sharp. A couple of interceptions in this game. In conference Big East game Miami hosting Virginia Tech first game at the Orange Bowl. Canes going for 52 in a row there and Virginia Tech all over Frank Costa at halftime. It was 7-0. But for the second straight game a big connection Costa to AC Tellison. This one 45 yards. Miami would go on to win 21-2. Virginia Tech, five turnovers in this game. Frank Costa, 265 yards. You see the touchdown. Chris Jones, six catches for the Canes. Tennessee at Florida, number six against number nine. Heath Schuler had a great day, but he was doing it in come-from-behind fashion. The Hail Mary after being down 21-0 to Billy Williams. He pulls it away from two Gators. 21-14, balls down seven at the break. Williams had three touchdowns, but the story, Danny Werfel, first collegiate start. He finds... Harrison Houston to start the second half after Tennessee fumbled away a kickoff. The Gators go up big and hold off a late Tennessee comeback. 41-34. Eric Rett now second in school history in rushing. 140.